Welcome to Illustrator and working with the Pattern Tool. The Pattern Tool has a lot of advantages in, uh, in that you can use it in a number of ways. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to um, paste in something here. Let's just paste that in. And I've just got some simple stars. Okay, I'm going to use this as a pattern. Now, one thing before I drag the stars out, I just wanted to show you um, how you can actually um, get the right sort of a star. So Basically, it's not just the star, it's a whole range of shapes here, but it's also anything with a drop-down. For example, I'm going to start off with the grid tool. If I drag out a grid here, I hold the space bar to move it around, but I can hold my down arrow to decrease, or my side arrow, the pixels here. Okay. Now this is going to be great for, or grids, for doing pixel art later, so hence the grids. Anyway, that also applies if I go to something like the spiral tool. I'll drag it out here, lots of spirals, space bar to move it. I can use my command key to decrease or, or increase, and I can use my up or down arrow to take it away. Okay, and of course back to the star. What I'm going to do is a star. I might want to have a triangle, in which case um, I move it to where I want to position it to. I can move it in or out depending on if I want to get it to a perfect circle or close to, and then just decrease or increase in order to get it to a star shape. So if I just hold the key like that, you see now we're pulling it into this into a triangle. Okay, but anyway, in this case, I wanted to have a star. I'm going to leave this out here just for the time being. So, make any pattern you want. It doesn't have to be with uh, any of these tools. It can be done with brushes, whatever. You're just uh, mixing up a pattern. So, what we're going to do now is I'm going to add this pattern to the inside. To do that, all you do is you select your pattern. You come down to the object tool here and just go to um, under the pattern and then we just want to make okay now you can have a pattern if I just go OK here I'll call it star hit the return key you can have the pattern that goes into a grid brick format um, there's offsetting that you can do with it um, basically particularly if we go into something else here you can actually set it to all sorts of things to get really interesting patterns that merge together nicely but I just want to keep mine for the stage just simple grid. Now once I accept that it's whatever the artwork on the page it won't stay as this it'll just go back once you just go done here okay so there we are however if I select my object to use the pattern just in my symbols here if you scroll down here you probably have a few patterns there already but here we've added another other pattern. So there it is a star just some other patterns are probably already in your Illustrator, but you can have as many as you want. So that's just adding in a pattern. But one more thing to add to that, if I just go delete, I'm going to go to the graph tool. Graph tool can come in really handy. It may look a little bit boring on the surface, I'm just, but it's scalable, and that's one thing good about the vectors. Okay, now that's totally boring. By the way, just under here, you can have all sorts of graphs, and you can actually change them on the fly as well. But just for the time being, I'm just going to stay with this. I'm just going to add in, say, just a few numbers here to make it a bit more interesting. So 3, maybe 5, and say 7. And I'll just uh, commit that. But what I'm going to do now is just to make my graph a little bit more interesting, I can come just up here, just deselect with the group selection tool. I'm just going to select that graph there. And here's my fill here, but hey, I want my pattern here. Actually, to, to be honest with you, I also want to make it a little bit more interesting. I'm going to go up to my brushes, and I'm going to choose a brush shape as well. So straight away, you can do some more interesting, interesting shapes uh, rather than just, um, or not just shapes, but colors and fills than just the normal one, which takes a little bit different outside normal graph making software. Now, together with this, if you do want to amend anything, uh, you can just come back up under the um, object here, go all the way down to the graph, and you can go into type, in which case you may even want to take it over to a different format, um, like uh, a pie here. And if I just go OK, um, oops, if I do select my whole graph, that is, just make sure you do it with the 
um, the selection tool being the black selection tool just back and uh, with that just down onto the objects once I've closed this box so object graph and I might just go to type for example and now we'll just hit on another one and uh, there we go we've still got that same graphic so that's just a quick example of how you can put graphics into graphs and just uh, basically pattern fills generally. Enjoy.